dear friends good evening uh, today i would like to do uh, one video on uh, uh, sun in libra so sun is uh, debilitated in libra he is in nicha so how it affects uh, individual uh, starting from aries to pisces moon signs how this transit is going to impact so sun is uh, not only debilitated so there is an interesting combination is going on so mercury in retro and he joined uh, he conjoined uh, sun so there is a uh, sun mercury conjunction conjunction is happening uh, in libra so which is called uh, buddha yoga one of the uh, one of the raja yogas in vedic astrology and the sun receives aspect from mars uh, from pisces so even though Ra mars moves to aries in few days still he receives seventh aspect uh, from Pis pisces like uh, he receives aspect to eighth aspect from uh, mars so uh, let us uh, try to understand what is uh, what is sun and what happens when sun is uh, debilitated so sun is uh, a planet that shows uh, ego uh, self esteem respect uh, power uh, energy sun is a you know uh, kingly planet so uh, people uh, who have prominent sun uh, like significant like who has uh, uh, predominantly sun's influence on their charts so for them this transit is uh, very important so they feel low uh, they feel like you know their self esteem is low they feel being you know insulted humiliated uh, but uh, still you know uh, this debilitation uh, is compensated by uh, mars aspect because uh, uh, the aspect between mars and sun actually it really works well uh, because both are similar energies like one is sun is king and mars is uh, commander so uh, in one way actually uh, the mars aspect is good because it energizes uh, energizes sun uh, let us start for you know reading from uh, aries okay from aries uh, sun would be uh, sun is in uh, transiting in seventh house uh, which is a house of uh, spouse partnership uh, relationships so sun being in uh, debilitation uh, it's actually good for them uh, because uh, sun is a planet of ego so when uh, sun loses his energy so it means like ground reality so the person becomes uh, ego free so it is good with respect to uh, relationships but anyhow uh, the sun in seventh house he always creates uh, turbulence in relationships so they need to uh, they need to be you know, careful they don't argue they don't uh, uh, go for heated up arguments at this point of time uh, when uh, sun is uh, transiting their seventh house from their moon sign for uh, aries people for taurus uh, this uh, transit is uh, auspicious because the sun does extremely well in 3 uh, 6 and 11 uh, houses now uh, so for, for taurus uh, sun would be in 6th uh, house along with uh, mercury so this is good time for them to Uh, put extra effort and get get their things done and it gives courage uh, recognition also and they maintain good health also uh, taurus people because of sun in 6th house uh, for gemini the sun would be in their 5th uh, house so 5th house is a uh, house of mind so these people also they feel uh, low self esteem um, lack of motivation lack of courage Uh, but uh, sun in 5th uh, house actually it's good for uh, doing things uh, in a, in a new and unique way for new beginnings because 5th 5th house is uh, the natural 5th is house of uh, crea creativity so sun does well in 5th uh, house so they have to uh, channel this energy in a right direction uh, and uh, they they need to be uh, uh, very soft when when they deal with their with their children because 5th house is house of uh, children also and for uh, cancer sun would be in their uh, fourth house so fourth house is uh, home happiness mother uh, vehicles so these are the areas uh, that they need to focus on so they need to keep it uh, tab on on their mother's health they should not get into uh, heated up arguments with uh, mother or motherly people and also they need to be careful when it comes to dealing with vehicles and driving and for uh, leo because leo is a sign lord so he is in third house so sun in third house as i mentioned it does well but because he is in uh, he is debilitated 
so they feel uh, lack of courage motivation and this is uh, time for them to uh, motivate themselves uh, and uh, go ahead with uh, uh, right efforts to get the things done and for uh, virgo the uh, sun sun is transiting their uh, second house so second house is a uh, house of uh, self expression and their bank balance finances investments speech so they may get harsh during this time because uh, sun is a fiery planet and also they hardly could save their money uh, their expenses uh, go high th this point of time and they may not be they feel lack of peace at home uh, because of uh, some arguments or uh, whatever it is so for uh, libra sun is transiting their sign moon sign so sun is a kind of a burning planet so they feel like exhausted because the sun is debilitated in their sign so they also feel lack of self esteem motivation so they need to motivate themselves but they receive aspect from mars so this is a good time for them to resolve any issues in the relationships for scorpio sun would be in their 12th house so usually sun doesn't do well in 12th house because sun is a planet planet for power energy hmm so they have to uh, take care of their health that is one thing uh, their expenses uh, go up because of 12 uh, sun in uh, 12th house so uh, sun receives aspect from mars so mars also aspect in 12th house so this time they use this time to do uh, some um, sacrifice like you know um, some charity activities that is uh, good for them Uh, and they may feel some uh, experience some health issues because of this transit uh, like you know change in their uh, uh, blood pressure levels uh, they may feel uh, high bp or low bp because of uh, mars aspect uh, for sagittarius this is extremely good because uh, sun is in their 11th house along with uh, mercury uh, because mercury is also uh, retrograde so two ball fix in uh, 11th house actually is good for them so they find new opportunities their income will raise their investments you know they fruitful uh, they become fruitful and they maintain good good health and they maintain good relationship with uh, friends family uh, for capricorn sun would be in their 10th uh, house so 10th house is uh, a house of career fame job uh, and father's resources so usually sun does well in 10th uh, house and also it receives aspect from mars so for capricorn people this is a good time if you if you are looking for change you can start giving interviews and uh, and you know go ahead with the change for uh, aquarius the sun would be in their uh, ninth house so ninth uh, ninth house is house of father higher learning guru spiritual uh, side of life father so uh, these are the areas that would be in uh, in limelight so wherever sun is there actually it brightens that house so they they see uh, those areas actually um, kind of uh, flourishing uh, for uh, pisces the sun would be in the 8th house so which is a kind of uh, it may create some uh, 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 mental problems or headache or they may not keep uh, good health good sleep they they feel lack of good sleep uh, so this uh, also the sun receives aspect from mars okay so this is the time they need to take care of their diet and health and also they have mercury in eighth house uh, usually mercury in eighth house does well so it's a supporting energy so this is this is my analysis about uh, sun uh, debilitation If you like my video please click on like button and also subscribe to my video thank you